Welcome to another episode of my photo walks. This time I will be shooting a roll of Coragol 200 on my Canon AE-1P. I'm traveling to the beautiful city of Cologne, but unfortunately the day started completely overcast. To compensate, I will underexpose Coragol to 400 and then I will ask my lab to push it one stop. This first picture I took resembles my last photo walk video at the Christmas market. It is noticeable the grain and the high contrast caused by pushing the film. Pushing Coragol doesn't look bad when there is the right amount of light. Despite the overcast weather, this result is surprisingly good. Sadly, due to threats of attacking the famous Don of Cologne, there was more military police than usual protecting the surroundings. This location might have been better suited for a different film stock like Cine Steel 800T or Coravision 500T. However, I don't mind using Coragol in this interior. The composition with layers is appealing and we will see more of this during the day. I love those vibrant colors and I couldn't really tell if this picture was pushed. This turned out surprisingly good. I know Cora Gold shot on tones and light can have some color cast, but I'm happy to see these green tones that were completely unexpected for me. Moving on, as I exited the subway station, the sun was already shining, perfect for exploring the Portuguese area. I am delighted with the results in the red sunlight, particularly the red colors contrasting with the green wall. Yes, I know, another gas station on film. The effect of pushing is evident, especially in the shadows that I couldn't completely recover. I 
I appreciate that a passerby became part of the composition while I was taking a selfie. Spotting an old car with a film camera always calls for a picture, besides, there is an honest message for me on it. I have been studying Soul Lighter's work lately, and I think it is influencing my pictures. Here I've added the foreground layer to a photo using the glass similar to a double exposure effect. At first glance, it is a bit disorienting, and I love that. Because of the sky and the sunlight hitting on the cathedral, I made it for the highlights. I must admit, those shadows are completely underexposed. It looks like a postcard from a souvenir store. As you might have noticed, I prefer one isolated main subject in my pictures to convey a clear and simple message. This one combines everything that I aim for in this trip. It has an abstract foreground because I'm shooting through a glass inside of a store and I can see where my main subject is. This is my favorite picture of the day and I hope you can imagine why. It is so complex and at the same time so simple. It has too many elements and it is hard for me to focus just on one. It is the total opposite of what I was trying to do during the whole trip, but again, I feel like it works perfectly. Though I love the idea of this picture, the subject isn't interesting enough and doesn't stand out. Also, it is severely underexposed. This one captures the city vibe at night with advertisements, people, malls, and cabs. Look closely and you will notice some halation, which adds an interesting touch and I didn't see that coming from Coragol. Despite the limited latitude of this film, I was impressed by the results in the subway, even with acceptable skin tones. The final location of the day was an intriguing liminal space. I made another one here with these mysterious guys that concludes my photo walk. And that was pretty much it for today. I thoroughly enjoyed this photo walk in the city of Cologne. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on pushing Coragol one stop. I'm heading back to my hotel room now, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.